Hey, y'all. What is up, you guys? It is Parker here with Deco Exchange. Y'all, we've got another great tutorial out today, and I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel, like the video down below, and at the very least, y'all, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. So, whenever I was leaving um, the house this morning, I noticed that my mailbox still has the first responder bow hanging on it from last February. And it's looking a little rough. So I'm going to make a Mardi Gras bow to hang out there. Let's make our bow first. All right. So we're going to need a tail for sure. All right, let's measure about seven inches out on both sides. And then about seven to eight inches on top. What's up, y'all? So let's get a little tail to the north. Get ourselves a, another uh, six and a half to seven inch loop. On both sides. Get ourselves a little tail. All right, let's take our one and a half inch. Get ourselves the tail. This one's gonna be just slightly smaller again. All right, so because I want to feel this bow a little bit more, but I don't want to overdo it, right? Just going on the mailbox. I'm just gonna add some strips of the ribbon. So our green, get a tail out the top and a tail out the bottom. Same with this one, tail out the top. Tail out the bottom. And then we're gonna finish it with a center loop. Oh, thanks, Francis. So just one loop. Here's our pipe cleaner. All right, slide it off, place it right in the center. All right, we're gonna pull it nice and tight and give it a twist. All right. Now we've got a nice little Mardi Gras bow. All right, y'all, now we got to build a base to put our bow on. I have these fun little pine sprays. So I'm going to take two of these, maybe three, we'll see. All right, and we're basically going to make this into a little mini swag. So we have two this way. We can put a zip tie around it. All right, so 
So that'll be the top part. We're going to take these three and build out a bottom for it. So y'all, these little sprays were like 80 something cents. So we can use five of them to make ourselves a base. Zip tie this one together. Get those clipped off. All right, now we can put these together. And we'll have a fun little base that we can decorate. All right, so I'm just zip tying this together in a few different places. So our base is good. All right, y'all, now we basically just made our own little mini swag. Let's figure out where we want to place our bow on here. So I want my tails to go to the bottom about where this ends. Just gonna wrap that around our base. All right, so I want the little tinsel ties to barely stick out the top and barely stick out the bottom. Wrap those around. All right, we can trim our tails up. I'm gonna layer them at all different lengths. So y'all, we're just dovetailing all our little ribbon tails right now. So we could just stop here and hang this on the mailbox if we wanted to, but it's Mardi Gras and Mardi Gras is a little bit extra. So let's see what else I've got here. Y'all, I've got these gold sprays. Let me cut some of this up. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna start adding these all around. Y'all, so I'm just using this as some filler and we're just using it to fill in our bow a little bit. That guy. Y'all on this one, I wanted to leave a little bit longer stem so that I could put it at the bottom. So that'll hang down and look nice and full. All right, so you can see how I just built that little triangle pattern with the gold sprays. Still got this little piece left. So I'm gonna add this one a little bit higher in the bow to give it a cool layered look at the bottom. So there is our base. I know I wanna use these Mardi Gras balls. Gonna get these nice and spread out so I can see what we're working with. Y'all, I think I just wanna get one of these at the top and one of these at the bottom. All right, I'm just gonna use the twist tie and attach that right to the base. So I just use the pine to wrap it around the pick. All right. Same thing, but this one towards the bottom. Now this time I'm not gonna go 
all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to go about halfway through so that the little ornament balls show up right here. All right, so we're going to get this added right in here. Gonna just wrap it again. I do want to use these feathers because I've had them from, uh, let's see when I got these. Y'all, this is from 2015. All right. Get this added. All right, so I just wanted to kind of build it up a little bit. Y'all, I think I need to get another feather. Wire cutters, you can go to the website, type in wire cutters. If they're there, they'll show up. All right, so we wanna let that dry a little bit. And then we can, because the whole feather is wired, so we can kind of bend those and bring them in just a little bit. So let's trim this down and use these things up, y'all. Y'all, I kind of want to get this right in this area, right up here at the top. All right, and I kind of want something like right out here, kind of fun. So let's get the other one that I have. All right, our feathers should be able to be manipulated now. Let's bend those around a little bit. So they're not just straight. All right. Y'all, just a fun little Mardi Gras piece for the side of my mailbox. So I would attach this to my mailbox, just like this. Right on the back side. There you go. So that's what it will look like at home on my mailbox. Y'all, that's all I got for now. I'm going to get back to work. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Bye, y'all.